Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Khalil Mack in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Now Trubisky, throw left side complete. It's Burton, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Red, red, up. Here's Trubisky. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, He's going to win that battle just about every time. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. They run, this is Cohen, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll lead here to a third down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Oh, Bananas Miller, he's got it. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine.
That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The Bears on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're up against a third and one situation. One yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. First and goal, Howard. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Trubisky will throw. That's complete right around the eight. And a good display of footwork will only get him just inside the five to the four. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. It was Ricardo Allen there on the coverage. Now he's been a busy man out of the backfield.